very, very large lake around 100 years ago. The people didn't like it and they needed more soil to work with, so they decided to um, make the lake a lot smaller and get some dry land. The way that I did that was by putting in eucalyptus trees. These eucalyptus trees, they are native to Australia and they can root extremely deep, taking all of the water from the ground and drying the place up. So essentially what we have here is um, a very, very small lake that's left in the winter months and in the summer months it's almost completely dry. Um, but yeah, the newts, they found a very cool way to survive that by burying themselves in, in these dry and harsh months. Good morning guys, we are here in this beautiful area. Actually, when it's not summer, this is a lake, so we would be underwater. And we are looking here for newts, which is a species of salamander. We just spotted this huge log and we were like, maybe they're there because it looks a little bit wet. And we found them, so I'm so excited. I'm going to grab one to show you. There's two here as far as I can see. Oh my god, oh my god. This is so awesome. These creatures are amazing. They have so many cool features. They are actually quite poisonous. So um, after handling one of these, you really, really need to wash your hands. Some of the species have enough toxins to kill an adult human. Um, this is an adult stage. So basically in salamanders, there's three stages. There's the um, aquatic larval stage. Then you have a more terrestrial juvenile stage. And then you have this adult stage that will bury itself during the hottest months of the year. So in summer it is gone, you won't find it. And then in winter times it will be out and about swimming. And if you zoom in a little bit on his, um, the side of his um, abdomen, you can see some spiny things sticking out. Well, he's not doing it now, but he was doing it a second ago. Basically what they can do is they can stick out their ribs and they do this as a form of self-defense. So they look a little bit more spiny. These creatures are so cool. They have found such a cool way to adapt to this quite harsh environment. Now this one, as I said, it's an adult stage, but it can quite a bit larger. It can grow up to 30 centimeters, so it has still some growing to do. And it will eat um, all sorts of invertebrates that you find here um, in the lake. Maybe little crabs, sometimes even fish when it's a little bit larger. But that's all during the winter months. So actually it's um, quite the opposite of reptiles. Reptiles, um, especially in Europe, they will be gone during the winter months and they will appear in the summer and spring. And these guys, they do it the other way around. This is so exciting, you guys. I'm gonna pop it up here so maybe we can zoom in a bit on this prehistoric animal. Now another cool thing about amphibians, they um, actually precede the reptiles. So the amphibians were there first and from the amphibians the reptiles arose. A big difference between amphibians and reptiles is their skin. As you can see the skin of this animal is kind of um, tender. It's quite dry now but normally it's a little bit slimy and that is because amphibians can actually breathe through their skin. Reptiles cannot do that. Why? Because they were living more on land, so their skin had to be tight and water resistant to not lose water. Because if you um, want to live on the land, you need to do everything possible to make sure that you don't dry out. And these guys don't have to do that because they still have such an aquatic lifestyle. Now what's very important is that you do put them back exactly the way as you found them because this stage is very important for them. They, make, they need to make sure that they survive this hot summer so that they can reappear in the winter. I'm so excited about this, you guys. The newt. It's time to put these little guys back where they belong. So I'm gonna put them in this little hole. They can find the moisture themselves. You can feel like the, the soil here is also quite wet. This is why they chose this place. There's actually some rests of um, a crab here. So you can see that there is lots of life in this lake. So now you can already see they start going down to 
find some moisture. And this is great because when we put back this log, they won't get squashed, they won't get squeezed, and they still have their nice retreat for summer. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 